Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel Diversity of Plant Zone. In this channel you can easily find the videos related to the plants and their diversity throughout the nature. The topic of my today's video is about taxonomy, introduction, history, APG, types, aims, need and importance of taxonomy. So I hope you will like my video and appreciate my work as well. So let's start the video. First of all, I am going to discuss about introduction. Taxonomy was recognized as a journal subject only in 1813 by APD Kondo. Taxonomy is a combination of Greek words. Texas means arrangement and nomos means rules or law. Taxonomy deals with identification, nomenclature and classification of plants. Classical taxonomy. The classical taxonomy is also known as orthodox taxonomy. Classical taxonomy generally deals with operational procedures such as identification, nomenclature and classification of species. Classical taxonomy is based on morphological characters and anatomical data along with geographical distribution of species. The information is collected from the herbarium. Systematics The term systematic was first given by Linnaeus. Systematics is based on the classification of plants and arranging them into hierarchical order. Systematic is the scientific study of plants and their evolutionary history. Study of systematics and taxonomy, both known as systematic biology. Biosystematics Another name of biosystematics is experimental taxonomy or new systematics. Biosystematics deals with the taxonomic study of the organisms from the standpoint of populations rather than individuals and of the evolutionary process found along with populations. Biosystematics is largely based on genetically, cytological and ecological aspects of plants and involves study in experimental gardens and in field. Plant taxonomy as shown in the figure. History of plant taxonomy. First of all, I am going to discuss about Theophrastus. Theophrastus is a father of botany. Theophrastus divided the plants into the four categories, which include herbs, subsherbs, shrubs, and tree. First of all, I am going to define herbs. What are herbs? Any seed bearing plant that doesn't have a woody stem and dies down to the ground after flowering. For example, the banana plant is the world largest herb. Next is subsherb. Subsherb or dwarf sherb is a short woody plant or it is a low growing perennial plant having a woody lower stem. Third is sherbs. Sherbs is a woody plant which is smaller than a tree and has several main stems arising at or near the ground. Next is tree. Tree is a woody perennial plant typically have a single stem or a trunk growing to a considerable height and bearing lateral branches at some distance from the ground. Albertus Magnus. He separated vascular plants from the non-vascular plants and also monocots and dicots. Third is John Ray. He suggested a scheme of classification of plants. Fourth, Carolus Linnaeus. Carolus Linnaeus, also called father of taxonomy, he proposed a binomial system of nomenclature. In binomial nomenclature, the first name is the genus name and the second name is the species name. Anton Laurent de Gesso 
He proposed a classification system based on natural characters. Next is angiosperm phylogeny group system, which is also called APG. APG is the first version of a modern, mostly molecular-based system of plant taxonomy. It is the first time published in 1998 and known as APG-1, then published in 2003 known as APG-2, and in 2009 published again and called APG-3. APG classification is mainly based on the synthesis of knowledge about the relationship of angiosperms obtained from morphological to molecular data and using the phylogenetic methods. In the APG classification system, only monophyletic groups should be recognized. Above the level of orders and families, the term clad is also used more generally. Advantages of the APG APG system based on the principle of monophyly, phylogenetic, phylogenetic anatomical embryology, phytochemistry, molecular formal name have been given only to those groups where monophyly has been firmly established. To reduce the problem of paraphyly, the traditional separation of angiosperms into monocots and dicots has been discarded. Various groups of monocots have been placed in between primitive dicots and advanced dicots. Disadvantages of APG APG classification is restricted at taxonomic levels of only order and family. Second disadvantage is APG classification has few followers in practice. Next, I am going to discuss about types of taxonomy. First type is alpha taxonomy. Alpha taxonomy is the first and most basic step in the taxonomy. Alpha taxonomy, the organisms are identified, characterized, classified, and named. The pioneer or exploratory phase of taxonomy is basically analytical. It includes the collection of plants for analysis of their characters. Second type is Omega Taxonomy. Omega Taxonomy is also known as Beta Taxonomy. Omega Taxonomy referred to as the experimental or biosystematics phase. It was then realized that knowing all the aspects of biology and chemistry of plants would be given a much better understanding of the relationships. Third type is Gamma Taxonomy. In Gamma Taxonomy, we study evolutionary processes and patterns. Fourth type is Camo Taxonomy. The Camo Taxonomy uses chemical information as the character for taxonomic purposes. The Camo Taxonomy gives importance to the chemical character because the chemical character is not easily changeable and these characters are stable and unambiguous. Chemical characters show chemical relationships amongst plant in the same way as morphological characters show morphological relationships. Fifth type is cytotaxonomy. In cytotaxonomy, chromosome number, morphology, ploidy, ploidy level, ploidy tie, and chromosome abrasions are used as data for the classification. Due to this relative conservativeness, chromosome number become an important frequently used taxonomic character. Cytogenetics include those studies dealing with the observation of chromosome pairing or behavior at the meiosis. The centromere or constriction in the length of the chromosome provides information about the relationship of the two arms of the chromosomes. Metacentric chromosomes are considered to more advanced than acrocentric chromosomes. The appearance of the basic chromosome set is dividing cell is known as the karyotype of the cell. This can be analyzed to provide information not only about the chromosome number but also about the chromosome size, chromosome volume, and type of the chromosome in the cell. 
This information is used by the taxonomists for identifying plants and understanding their relationships. Sixth type is palynology. In palynology, the study of the pollens and spores, the taxonomic characters of pollen grains include bell structure, polarity, symmetry, shape, and grain size. In angiosperm, pollen grains are of two types. First is monocolpate. Monocolpate is a pollen grain that has a single furrow. On the other hand, the second type is tricolpate. Tricolpate is a grain that has three apertures equally spaced and approximately parallel to the polar axis of the grain. The monocolpate pollen grain is board shaped, has one long germinal frog and one germinal aperture. These characteristics of primitive dicotyledons such as the piperaceae and chloranthaceae, majority of monocotyledons and Sacreds and seed ferns are included in it. Next type is embryology. Embryology study of the successive stages of sporogenesis and gametogenesis and growth and development of the embryo, endosome and seed coat. Embryological shreds of evidence have been used in solving taxonomical problems at almost all levels and have been helped to resolve the doubtful systematic position of several taxa. Eighth type is numerical taxonomy. Numerical taxonomy is a classification system. Numerical taxonomy is developed for multivariate analysis. Multivariate analysis is based on principle of multivariate statistics, which involves observation and analysis of more than one statistical outcome variable at a time. Classify organisms based on the one character, but always looking lots of characters during a classification at the same time. Using the computer, it is also called Operational Taxonomic Units or OTU. A numerical taxonomy aims to create a taxonomy using a mathematical formula based on logarithms like cluster analysis rather than using subjective evaluation of their properties. Next is aims of taxonomy. There are three main aims of taxonomy which includes identification, nomenclature and classification. There are two main approaches. Number one is empirical approach. It is based on practical aspects, observation of characters, etc. Next is interpretive approach. The classification is based on interpretation and evolution of a taxon. For example, phylogenetic system. Modern taxonomy combines both approaches with the following aims to provide a convenient method of identification and communication, to provide classification which is based on natural affinities of organisms as far as possible, to provide an inventory of plant taxa by means of flora, to detect evolution at work, discovering its process of interpreting into results to provide an integrating and unifying role in the training of biology students regarding the relationships between many biological fields and data gathering science. Next topic is need and importance of taxonomy. With the huge variety of plants surrounding us, it is extremely essential to pinpoint a particular plant for our interest by noting the similarities and differences with other plants. A biologist studying a particular plant needs to know his field of study. Thus, it becomes extremely necessary that the plant is first identified, given a proper name, so that he can communicate his ideas about it and also know the group to which the plant belongs. These three activities are in fact the main functions of taxonomy. 
Thus, taxonomy, which is probably the oldest of sciences, is the science of classification, including its basis, principles, rules, and procedures. Its general purpose is to arrange plants in a way as to provide an information retrieval system. The name and rank or position in an ordered hierarchy which tells it something about the plant. It comes from the two Greek words, taxes meaning arrangement and nomius meaning law or rule. Thus taxonomy means classification following certain rules and principles. But it is very important to note that a plant's name is the key to its literature and grouping can only be possible when its identity is revealed and are named for the sake of convenience and communication of ideas about it. The term taxonomy was first introduced to the plant science in 1813 by the A.P. Deacon which meant the theory of the plant classification. But later this term became more inclusive and at present it includes identification of plants, their nomenclature and classification. Traditionally, taxonomy was based largely on the gross morphological features of a plant. However, now virtually all other scientific information is used from branches like the anatomy, genetics, cytology, chemistry, reproductive biology, ecology, physiology, molecular biology, etc. Hence, taxonomy is a very dynamic and synthetic science and is the basic to all other sciences. At the same time, it is dependent upon them. For example, the information used by the taxonomists is gathered using information from other disciplines, such as genetics, ecology, morphology, anatomy, and physiology, etc. Relationship of the taxonomy with the various disciplines as shown in the figure. Taxonomy is related to the all disciplines of the science which includes Paleobotany, Molecular Biology, Morphology, Geography, Embryology, Ecology, Genetics, Evolution, Palynology, Microscopic Morphology, History, Anatomy, Chemistry, Physiology, Cytology, and Phylogeny. If you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and thank you so much for appreciating my videos.